They said, Are oh, you talking rallies. Oh, oh, you are Abu Bwami. We don't understand this. How can they be? They were worsened in the world that he lived in. Yeah, so they couldn't understand yeah. it. Nobody could understand yeah. it. And so when a man lives by faith, no, and works by faith, I mean substance faith, he is or she is isolated from the entire world. And becomes a new creature yeah. in Christ. There is getting into bright material. Okay, see, it's getting into that rapturing condition. Okay, it's, 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 that's what means to each one of us, not just the pastor, the deacons, or the trustees. No, Every member. Every lady, individual, walk in this world with God alone. You are baptized into that kingdom. That there's nobody is in there but you and God. He gives others and you pack them out. Wherever he says, there is not a shadow of doubt in the nowhere. You walk right on. If the Lord said this, there is nobody in the world that can talk you out of it. You go right on the same. You are coming, that is, you are coming to perfect faith. Perfect perfection that cannot fail. That faith never fails. He was in the mystic to them. With perfect faith. And so it is now with those who have perfect faith are mystic to others. So when you live in that world, that people cannot understand you. No. Because things that God speaks to you and things that you hear, the one city before you, Beside you cannot hear, cannot understand. So you become a mystic. What is he saying? What is what I mean, that, this? But I said, I said, the mystical body of Jesus Christ. Yes, but yes, one spirit we are baptizing to that body. Born of his spirit, that we belong to that kingdom. And our lives are not Americans, we are not Germans, we are not Ghanaians. We are Christians. We we'll settle and walk in the spirit. We we'll walk in the spirit. And lastly, do not love the things of the world. Our rise to the world, we sold it. And we bought that pearl of great price. And walk and let the Holy Spirit manifest itself. That is what the real church is. That is the real believer. That is what you are or what I am. If we will let ourselves go and serve God by his word and not by what some creed says. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 13, 45 to 46. And get that pearl over there. Matthew chapter 13. 45 to 46. I believe we are there. Okay. He said, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking a goldly pair, goodly oh, pair. Who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. 
Eke a hon no fia no kwa de yo eke eke ba hon e. He went and bought teeth, sold everything. E hon no fia no kwa de kwa de kaja kwa de pe. No fia no kwa de yo de ke kwa ya kwa kumine. And that is how it is to the kingdom of God. Noji, boni yo e mama chale. You sell everything of this life. Oh, no fia no yo je ne je ne no fia. To be able to get that pearl. Bana fe ni de kaja kwa de odi ashen. Like Jesus told Martha, he said, "One thing needful." Mary has found that one thing. Mary found that golden pearl. He said, "And nobody can take it away from you." And when he came to that gold, this golden pearl, when you as individual receive it, he said, "Nobody can take it away from you." Nobody can take it here on this earth. Nobody can take it over there. It is yours forever. One thing needful. Mary has found it. And nobody can take it away from there. Amen. My prayer is that you get that one thing needful. And nobody can take it away from you. Remember you can get money. Things will come and steal them. You can put our buildings. Like Spafford. He built up buildings. And when the fire came, he destroyed all. He destroyed all his investments. Then he composed the song. He destroyed all his He consumed everything. La fite non fait un it is well with my soul. When he found Christ, he said, It is well. It is well with me. So when you find him, you will find well with me. So when you So when you find him, you will find Everything becomes well with you. Christ becomes your satisfaction. You know more. Be, go out, go in, go. No, 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 no. no. You are not wanting me you are accepted in life. Oh, no, 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 you see men, they Amen. marry two, three, four, five wives. Okay. But because they don't have Christ, they still so go well. in for other women. Why? Because they have not found that satisfaction. They are looking for a satisfaction. And, and that satisfaction is not in those things. It is only Christ that brings that satisfaction. So when you find it, that God in which is Christ, it becomes your satisfaction. You no more move to a pillar to post anymore. You are settled. Christianity versus idolatry. Preach in 1961. We are made partakers of His holiness. We in His image, we are living images of the living God. Then, dead to self, rest with him. Now listen, listen to this. His word made flesh again in us. Look what it is. Not a mystical, imaginary God sitting out there, but the living God. Who is the living God? The word in you make itself real. He said, glory to God. I know you think. You see, do you see it? Triumph, you triumph over every denomination. No, triumph over every paganism. The living God may manifest in a living temple. Like we read, you are the temple of the living God. So that God is living in you. Christ is dwelling in you. 
And the word of God, which is God, is made flesh in you. Why? You are seated in heavenly places. Triumph over all things in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brother said, I love it. You are sitting in heavenly places. So all powers are under you. All principalities are under you. You don't worry. Why? Because Christ is dwelling in you. Christ is residing in you. He said, we are then perfect through Christ. And we are free from judgment through Christ. We shall never die through Christ. We have lost death and found life through Christ. Not through any church. Not through any donation. donation. Not through any fantastic not through speaking with tongues. Not through shouting. Not through shaking. Of hands or through dancing in the spirit. But by grace. God calls who he will. It is all by election. We find out. It is not him. That want to be saved. No. Him that want to, he that willeth, or he that runneth, it is God that showeth mercy, and no one can come to Jesus, Jesus except God draws him first. So what you got to do with it, what you got to do with it, you haven't got nothing to do with it. You are out of the picture altogether. Well, uh, so it is God completely who does all you know. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are free from judgment. 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 If you could only recognize that you men, you are made to be an amateur of God. You are a son of God, a daughter of God. You are an heir of God. And you have a dominion. Like Genesis one twenty six. He gave him dominion over everything <laughs> on the earth. He made Abraham. He made Adam. He Adam. A god over everything on the earth. He made him god over everything on the earth. He made him god over the earth. That is right. He gave him dominion. He is a king, a god. And where he got his fall, before he got his fall, he could speak to trees. Be changed and be blocked. Be plucked up and be sent over there. You wish and wish, stop. Because he was an amateur. He was controlling all nature. Everything was under him. He speaks and you obey him. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, be blocked and be cast up. Over there, be still and they stop. He's a God, God, an amateur God, a son of God, like you are a son of your, of your father. And all the world is groaning, waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God, waiting for the church to get back to its place again. Sons and it's waiting for the hour. He said, but the church is so far away from its place. 
It needs to come back to sons and daughters of God again. Rulers, governors of the earth. And the spiritual reign. It will be someday when the chief one comes, Jesus Christ, that is the millennium. Then the nature is groaning. Maybe. Ma, maybe. They are groaning. I mean, come but on. when will I come to a place to know my position? Maybe, the church maybe. know her position. Maybe my share of my leg before. The trees, they are crying for us. They are crying for us. How would they, when would the sons of God come to a place to know their position? Maybe, you go be, you can 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 go be, you Walk as sons and daughters of God. Talk as sons and daughters of God. Remember, brother said, remember we are not on picnic. We are on the, we are on the battlefield. Many people just think that when they become a Christian, all that they need to do, that it is to settle forever. That they are a Christian and everything is going to come out easy. Don't never get that in your head. But for a Christian to become a Christian, to fight, fight the good fight of faith. Let's get that. So we become Christians to fight. So Christianity is a battle. It's not when you become a Christian that everything will be fine for you. Like you hear the gospel over there, other places, prosperity. When you become Christian, everything needs to be no. Christianity is a battle. So we are not in the picnic. It's a battle. So we need to get that. He said, as they are a Christian and everything is going to be easy, yeah, don't never get that to your heart. We have to fight the battle of faith, the good fight. So I become a Christian to get in the battle line. You are a Christian soldier. And we got to be trained and brought up and know all the techniques of the enemy. To know how to fortify. To know how to fight the fight. And we can only do that as the Holy Spirit will reveal it to us. That is the only way we can be able to fight the enemy. That is the only way we can be able to know his tactics. To know his tactics. But the prophet said the devil studied the tactics of the church. He said he set people down to study the tactics of the church. No. Where to strike? The next line to strike. And so the prophet said we also need the Holy Spirit to guide us to be able to know the tactics of the enemy. No. Where the enemy wants to strike, then we counteract it. No. But if we don't, before you understand, the prophet said, whether we like it or not, Satan has agents. The message putting on the whole arm of God. He has agents and he placed them down. To study the tactics of the church. And they give reports. He said, this is the land where they are. This is where they are treading. This is what this one is doing. This is, let's, 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 let
But under the leadership of the Holy Spirit, the God also reveals that the enemy is coming this way. Don't pass there. That is what happened in the days of the the Syrians. No, I mean, yes, Syrian, be a, be a, Whenever yeah. they come to a place, they, they want to attack Israel. Flag Israel. Then God will tell Elisha, go and tell the king, they are coming here. Don't pass here, don't pass here. 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 Then the king of Syria became furious. He <laughs> said, so who is among us? That <laughs> always <laughs> reveal a secret to our enemies. Whenever we want to strike here, let the children of Israel get to know. Why? Who is that one? He said, there is a God in Israel. Who revealed the secrets? That, that, that happens under you, in your chamber. He said, who is that man? He said, Lasha. Where is he? He's a daughter. Go and bring him. He said, there is a God in Israel. Go and bring him. Yeah, now I like about. But later, did he know that God, who have been revealed that secret to him, has revealed to him that he's bringing people to come and catch him. That one, Satan blinded his eyes. He couldn't see it. Let the children of Israel get to know. That one, Satan blinded his eyes. He couldn't see it. So they came. That's what they came. We are looking for Elisha. 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 We are looking for Before Gehazi came, then Gehazi Baba. Hey, master. Go. Alas, master. Hey, master. We are in trouble. This year, what? We are in trouble. What? Oh. Okay. We are being caught by the Syrian army. Follow what I tell you. This year, I be out there. I saw we follow what I tell you. But Elisha. She Elisha. Oh. Yeah, Elisha. We fast. Yeah, that's why we bend the knee. I be fast, fast. He said, Lord, hope in his eyes. And he hope in his eyes. And he saw the holes of angels. Run about them. He said, you said you are looking for Elisha. Follow me, let me go and show you Elisha. And he led him. And he said, Elisha, you are going to go. He said, you are going to go. He said, you are going to go. And he led him. And he led him to the king of Samaria. He said, these are your enemies. They said, they are looking for Elisha. So I have brought them to you, the king. He said, now, then bring my people. Let him kill them. He said, no, 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 no. You give them water. Give them food. Give them water. Give them food. Give them water. Give them food. After they are eating and they are full, then they should go to their master. And they went. Now they went. And when they went and told their king, they 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 told their king, when we have that God in our camp, what will Satan be able to do? What can Satan be able to do? He will be, Brabham said, he will be thwarted. That is where we need to come to. We are going to pray. Satan is not going to come. Satan is not going to come. Satan is not going to come. So God bless you all. Amen. We are continuing. Still Christianity versus adultery. Now, our armor is Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. He said, all devils slide their bricks when they see that. When they see that full armor of God, the true baptism of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. That is really coming from the throne of God. Dressed in the full armor of his resurrection. Every demonic power they slide their bricks. Because you have put on the whole armor of God. You are not going to meet the devil by your strength. You are not going to meet him by your holiness. But you are wearing the holiness of God. So the prophet when the devil has captured the Somebody. Then you don't want to live. The prophet said, Satan, I have no hope in you. You are not going to be able to live. You are not going to be able to live. You are not going to be able to live. You are not going to be able to live. You are not going to be able to live. You are not going to be able to live. I am coming against you. In the power of the Son of the Son of the Son of the Living God. Who strips you of all your powers. Come out. 
Take off your dirty hands. What is the prophet doing? Putting on the whole armor of God. And as he put on that whole armor of God, and he prayed that prayer, the demons lie their place. They move out. They move out. That person is getting hands. Satan take off his dirty hands. Off that property of God. Putting on the old armor of God. God bless you. Amen. We'll continue next week. By the grace of God. By the grace of God. Unwell Christian soldiers marching on to war.